Okay, so we're trying a new style of video with my phone on, mounted on top of my bike helmet. And we're going to take you for a little ride down to a little beach. Don't know how bad the wind noise will be, probably quite bad. So this is just a phone mounted to my helmet. Don't even know if the phone is going to be staying upright on its mount. We will, we will have to see. That's quite bumpy for the camera. Probably chucking the image all over the place. I suppose this will be a good test of the image stabilisation. We are filming in 1080p 30 frames a second with intelligent Im image stabilisation turned on. Just coming up to the vegetable honesty box, just going to stop and have a look and also check that you're still securely mounted to my head. Oh, so we've got some tomatoes, and some courgettes and some eggs here. I don't know how the camera is holding up, let's have a look. Yeah, still seems to be mounted okay. Fantastic. Let's continue on down towards the riding school and the beach. This is really a first test of trying anything like this with the phone. I have to see how well it works. Um, maybe compare it to something like a GoPro. I don't own a GoPro, but it'll be something I might look into getting if this doesn't work out. is supposed to be waterproof, although I wouldn't want to test it in salt water. But it is good enough for things like this, if there was a little bit of drizzle. Oh, now 
we see Snowdon and the rest of the mountain range coming into view as we're heading down. Still a ways to go to get to the riding school on the beach. <coughs> nice evening for a ride. Just in shorts and a t-shirt, not too cold at all. passing a public footpath that's usually extremely muddy. I feel the camera shifting about on my head a bit. Hope that's not affecting the footage too badly. Once we get down to the beach, we'll be directly opposite to Carnarvon, so we'll be able to see if we do get a better 4G phone signal down there. Might even try a live stream or something like that. <coughs> I've been testing live streams today, but the quality has been terrible. Thanks. <coughs> that was a couple of horses out from the riding school. One of them seemed a little bit nervous there. But better passing them on a bike than a car, I suppose. Here we are at the riding school, riding centre. Nice view of the castle through the trees. Don't know if you saw that, I was going a bit quick. And we get a better view at the castle when we stop at the beach in a minute. quiet roads this evening. And as I said, there's Carnarvon Castle dead ahead of us now. <coughs> Quite nice light this evening, see how the camera picks this up. Okay, we're at the beach. Just cycle down here and turn around. And then we take you off my head, see what the 4G signal's like. Might do a mobile upload. And if it's good enough, we could even try the live stream again. A bit bumpier down here. That's Gonna test out the stabilization. Not too pretty just here. Over the bumpy cobbles again.
back onto the tarmac. Tides in this evening. Might be able to spot those wind turbines in the distance. Okay, so we're just going to stop here. Lean the bike up against this wall. Okay. Sailboat there. Not much wind. Drifting down with the tide at the moment. Trying to fight the tide there. Alright, take you off my head. And I'll pop you down on this wall. Nice view of Carnarvon there. So we're going to stop this little video experiment and we're going to see what else we can video. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That was a short bike ride down to have a look at the view from this pebbly beach across to Carnarvon there.